All right, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you guys for the support. Hopefully you guys can subscribe and like the video and probably pass it around to your friends because the algorithm hates me. I've been doing this for a very long time and I can't get in the algorithm. I don't know why, not that it really matters, but I would like to see some forward progress on the channel. And you guys might be able to help me out on that. So a lot of stuff's been going on in here, cleaning, feeding, uh, I fed almost all the ball pythons, they're on live. I know a lot of people don't like that. Uh, some people don't have an issue with that, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll post it, maybe I won't. So getting the incubator all set up, it's kind of confusing to me because I've never set one up before and it's very dark on this side of stuff. So let's see if I can't flip this around, show you guys what's going on. So on the Herp one, I've got the temperature at 89.5 which is what I'm told is pretty good. So we got 89.8, 88.9, and 88.9 as well. Uh, I'm told that the eggs uh, produce some, generate some heat when they're in the incubator, so you gotta amount for that. So maybe I'll just set those at like 88 and then see what happens when I get eggs. But I'm not gonna have that many eggs. So we have one female that might drop eggs and have another one that might ovulate. So we are gonna be feeding some snakes. That one will be interesting, a little bit difficult. Uh, two pound rabbit and then a bunch of large rats. So there's some blood on there, apologize. They've just been thawing out uh, throughout the day and they've been uh, frozen. So they were gassed off and immediately frozen. So they're a little, they're a little nasty, but hopefully, uh, YouTube does not shut this down. Hopefully some people don't come in here and uh, get mad about that. So which one should we feed? This one looks good. This girl right here could probably eat a bigger meal. So we're gonna feed the anaconda. This is Mountain Dew. And a little shaky, but we'll see what happens right here. There we go, perfect. So she'll eat in her water. She has this nice eight foot cage right here. Burmese has a nice eight foot cage as well. And she just shed, I gotta clean her cage out. Um, there's some poop in there as well. So uh, we're gonna feed some of the boas. The boas are kind of difficult to feed. I don't have any lighting over here. So it, it's kind of difficult and I just cleaned all of them out and the humidity in there is really high because of the new bedding. But we'll try to feed them right now. All right, we're gonna feed this albino. I need to get longer utensils because these could definitely be a problem if they swing out too far. But she might be hungry. Let's see what happens. There we go. And just a basic albino. Beautiful snake. I've had her for a while. Some of these do have different types of bedding in them, um, which shouldn't be a problem. We'll feed her. This is the normal. This is my very first boa I ever had. And we'll just kind of swing that one. Well, that did not work. We'll get this one some live action. Got some live action in here. We'll toss that. There we go. Hopefully you guys saw that I was more worried about her not striking out at me. And then somebody wanted to see how the Argentine was doing. There she is. Sorry about this light. It's kind of a mess, so she just shed. I normally am not taking her out. I need to bond with her a lot. She is mean, very, very mean, <laughs> and I don't want to get bit. So I do take her out, but I don't take her out too much on camera because dealing with the camera and all that, I, I have to keep my attention on her because I don't want to, I don't want to die. So there she is, eating, trying to eat, and we'll close that. <laughs> So that's the anaconda that was super sick a couple years ago. And uh, she's bouncing back very nicely. And here's Pop-Tart. So she shed. I kind of leave her skin in there just for uh, decoration. But uh, she has this nice, almost nine foot cage. And there she is in the back. So beautiful animal. Super, super sweet. Um, other than when there's food around. So the last time I tried to feed her a rabbit, it didn't work out because I gave her a three pound rabbit. It took her like 10 hours to try to eat it and then she gave up on it. So that was kind of a bummer. 
And then I fed her a big jumbo and she ate that very well. So she might have been a little bit discouraged that uh, she couldn't eat that one rabbit. So we got this nice fluffy bunny right here, which is sad. I do like rabbits. Um, but I will never feed them live rabbits. So I don't know if she's going to eat this. It is very big. It's very wide, which makes me very, very nervous um, trying to feed her. But... Yeah, here she comes. So, there she goes. She'll wrap around that. And the thing is, though, is like the body of the rabbit is fine, but it's her mouth and her head that is not very gigantic. So, that's what makes me nervous on uh, feeding. But you see how big she is. She's, oh, I don't know. I'd say she's eight feet, maybe nine. She's four years old, so I'm not pumping her full of food. And I can take her out and I can feed her. I mean, I can handle her with no problems. I would really like to try to get some educational work in with her, but uh, with my schedule, I don't think that's really possible because she, because I work all the time and I have other obligations in my life. I can't be out hanging out with snakes all the time. So... There she is. Big old sweetheart. Until a rabbit gets in there. So we'll see how she's doing. And these anacondas sometimes take forever on eating. So I know some of you guys would like to see the progress of them eating. But I, I just don't know how long it's going to take, uh, especially Pop-Tart down there, to eat. So she should be done here shortly. But we all know it's going to take this girl probably a couple hours. So um, we'll just kind of see what happens on that. We'll go ahead and feed this Argentine. This girl is gorgeous. She is nasty though. She can be definitely be a pain, but she is beautiful, beautiful animal. When I can get her out on a good day, take some pictures of her, I will, I normally do. Um, my Instagram is Ben since he snakes the same as on here multiple pictures a day and what are you doing girl I can't really see her but there she is so I'm gonna probably get that out and wiggle in front of her face again see if she wants to eat it but she's probably distracted about what's going on elsewhere and I'll keep you guys updated on how this works out again I appreciate the support hopefully you guys uh, will subscribe and hopefully she eats this. Makes me nervous trying to feed her another rabbit. But we went down a full pound. We'll see what happens. So again, thank you guys. See you on the next video.